Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel, Huey Winter Soft. Super excited for this video today because uh, this is my brand new Airsoft AKS-74U. Super cool gun, looks great. Bought it off e-bike, just came today. Can't wait to unbox it and look at it. And we're just gonna jump right in. Um, I also purchased four ENL um, mid-cap mags for it. So hopefully those will be in here too and aren't coming later. Um, but yeah, basically just gonna unbox it and get right right into the review. Uh -oh. it's not real wide. I'm going to have to um, turn the camera off because the shipping label is over there. Okay, we're good now. So, just put that open and put that open. And what we've got inside is a true true treasure. There it is, folks. So here we have it, folks. The Airsoft Cybergun Kalashnikov Licensed AKS-74U. Designed by Mikhail... I'm going to give you guys... Designed by Mikhail Kalashnikov, um, creator of the AK platform. 495 FPS. I don't really believe that. Maybe it does shoot that. I don't know. You get a free magazine in the box, and this is what it looks like. Uh, adjustable front sight, foldable metal, metal stock, semi and full automatic, adjustable backs accuracy system, and which I'm pretty sure is the hop-up, and the NIMH battery and charger included. Battery included. Officially licensed product. Um, yeah, licensed by Kalashnikov. The 60-year anniversary, and look at that, there's a picture of the man himself. The man himself who created this gun and this gun platform. Um, there's some more info there down there at the bottom of the box. I'll give you guys a look at that. If you want to pause, you can pause, but just basic stuff about it. But now we get in to the gun itself. Oh boy. So we're getting a really, really big instruction manual. Uh, looks like it tells you just how to use it. And obviously, uh, be safe, all right? Safety first in Airsoft. So, yeah, let's open this up. I don't know how other people do it. I just cut it like that and then pull it all off. Oh boy, I can see parts of it. Very uh, suspenseful unboxing because slowly we're seeing just more and more of the gun. So we're closer to being, here. looks like we get a little cleaning rod. Not that wiggly, not that. Pretty nice cleaning rod, actually. Pretty good cleaning rod. Oh boy. There she is. Oh my goodness. I don't even. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Let me zoom out a little bit. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. That feels, that is steel. That is high quality steel. That feels so freaking nice. Oh, that real wood. Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome gun right there. Let me zoom out a little bit more if I can. That is an awesome, awesome gun right there. Look at that. Look, look at that. Just look at that. All right, and here we've got the high cap mag, which it's a high cap mag. Doesn't seem like the best high cap mag, but uh, you know, it seems all right. It's a decent quality plastic. That I don't like that door at all. That door is not very good. It's an it's a free mag high cap. But, you know what do you expect? In here, it looks like we've got the um, battery charger. Let's just open that up real quick. If I can figure out. How? Give me a second. There we go. Got it. Okay. Jeez, a lot of, lot of stuff. Oh, I believe that is the front sight adjustment tool. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, I think that is. And then this is the charger, which it looks like this is the same kind of charger as came with my Lancer Tactical AK-47. Um, this is a big upgrade to that gun. So my previous primary is the Lancer Tactical AK-47, which I'll show you here in a moment for comparison. 
um, when I compare the two guns side by side, but this is a huge upgrade from that gun um, already. And then we got this um, 8.4 volt, 1100 mAh stick battery. I am buying a 9.6 volt, 1600 mAh because you can use that in here. So in the box, you get um, the gun, uh, steel, rear wood handguard, um, very high quality build, very sturdy build. Uh, just looks and feels absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, an incredible gun with um, fully upgradable Tokyo Murray compatible parts. And um, it actually comes with a pre-upgraded gearbox, version 3 gearbox. Some of it, I don't know what specifically or how much or how good, but some of it's pre-upgraded pre -upgraded with, obviously, the ability to upgrade it further and other parts that aren't upgraded. In the box, you get the gun, you get this little cleaning rod. You get the 8.4 battery, the charger, the high cap mag, and front side adjustment tool, and the instruction manual. You get all this for 179 bucks off eBike. Now, I bought this off of um, eBike on a sale for 15% off. So it was actually $152.15, not 179 And then I bought um, four ENL mid cap mags, which I'll get out here real quick. So I bought these. Um, four ENL mid-cap Bakelite brown mags uh, to replace it, and they look um, like they're going to be cool. I've always liked ENL stuff, and I was actually going to get an ENL gun until I saw the great price on this thing. Each one of those magazines was $12, so it was going to be $48 plus $152.15, but I got $20, for $20 off the magazines because it was my first time ordering from e-bike. So I got all of this, magazines included, I got all this, for $180.15. Isn't that crazy price for this good stuff? So, yeah, it looks great. The only thing I don't like is that, but I can paint that or whatever. Um, and yeah, basically just gonna start looking at the gun a little closer. Oh yeah, that feels so much nicer than my Lancer Tactical. That is so much nicer than the Lancer Tactical. So there's going to be some scratching there from the thing. That's just part of the AK. Um, that is that is awesome. Nice. Now let's try it, the charging handle. Okay. That charging handle is way better than my Lance Tactical as well. It does not have a full travel bolt, which is a realistic drawback. But like I said, this is an AEG electric powered, so it doesn't really, I'm not really gonna put a full travel bolt on it if it's not gas blowback. So, cause you don't need to rack the charging handle. So you got your uh, front sight up there, front sight, it's pretty nice. And you got your rear sights, uh, which, you know, they're AK sights, but one cool thing about this gun, cause it's a more modern AK, you have the option of a dovetail mount. Look at that. You have side mounted optics. You also have this folding stock, I don't even know. I don't know how it works. Oh, is this button? Maybe. I think I figured out. I think it's this button. Oh, it is this button. Okay, you push that, and the stock folds and locks. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Folding stock. Skeleton stock. AK ready to rock and roll right there. And then to unfold it, I don't... Oh, you just flip that like that, and... Whoo! That feels... So, so, so good. As a, that gun feels great. Love that grip too. Let's try loading in the mag. An empty mag, by the way. The only thing is the magazine wobbles quite a bit. Hmm, I don't like that. Um, really love the real wood right there. That real wood handguard is beautiful. And there's just a shipping label in there. Nothing else in that e-bike box. We're all good with that. Nothing else in that box. But I do want to open up these e-bike Oh, huh. The Evite card. The Sig Sawyer MCX Vitrus. First edition. I don't really know anything about that gun. But I'm going to keep this because it's an Evite card and it looks cool and I've heard about these. Anyway, I want to open up these ENL um, mid caps. I want to see how they work. Hopefully they're compatible. Pray, pray to God that these magazines are compatible. Should be. Should be compatible. We're going to need the trusty old knife. All right. We've got it open. Please fit. Please to God fit. 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Oh wow. Yeah, that magazine, that high cap sucks. Look, look at that. Zero wobble compared to the high cap that came with. Oh yeah. This is an awesome, awesome mid cap. Look at that. Look at that. That's a nice material too. I like that. I like that a lot. That's a lot better. Such a great alternative to that high cap mag. So, in case you didn't know, um, this does have a threaded inner barrel, but it also has this end here, which I've heard you can unscrew. Um, yeah, I'm just not gonna try and break the gun. I guess I'll read more about it. Uh, but, oh, one more thing I wanna go over is this. Most dust covers are a pain. This one is anything but a pain. Look at this. And then you just, isn't that so clean, so easy compared to other dust cover batteries? That is incredible. This is an incredible gun. Really comfortable handguard too. That is way more comfortable than my AK. A little wobble there. A little wobble never hurt anyone. All right. I'm going to read the instruction manual, get the battery charged up, and take this thing outside. And we're going to shoot it. Overall review, highly recommend this gun. Great price. Awesome, you saw the unboxing. Next up, the shooting demo. Real quick, before we get into the shooting demo, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Cybergun uh, fully licensed Kalashnikov AKS-74U and my Lance Tactical AK-47AEG. So they both look really, really nice. They're both uh, very realistic. Adjustable rear sight here, adjustable front sight there. Um, you know, very realistic controls. Um, and this one, you know, it's nice. The um, lever isn't quite as nice. It's not as high quality of a build. The charging handle wobbles. No wobble. Well, tiny little bit, but not not near as much. Um, magazine doesn't really wobble. Uh, this one magazine doesn't wobble at all. Um, that's with the ENL mid cap though. Keep that in mind. That's not with the uh, high cap it comes with. Faux wood. Faux wood. Faux wood. Real wood, um, like aluminum, aluminum kind of metal um, all throughout, not aluminum, steel. Folding stock, not folding stock, not really like a bad thing about this gun because it's more realistic that way, but a cool thing about this gun. I'm not trying to say this gun's bad. I'm just trying to say that this gun is really, really good. Um, this gun is a great starter gun. It's a Lance Tactical gun, 140 bucks. You get the gun, a mag, a battery, and a charger. Really awesome gun great great starter gun the price on this one though is so good that it has to be one of the best aks 74 used in airsoft you can buy such a such a good gun right there um you know grip no grip the trigger unit on this one is not as nice there's times where i'm you know firing single and then like i could pull the trigger like halfway it'll make like half of the noise but it won't actually fire anything kind of weird um yeah, this one, uh, I'm hoping it has a nice trigger unit, but overall, just really nice. Plus, this one has the, um, this one has the dovetail mount for optics, and this has no option of optics. Um, yeah, just a lot of benefits to this gun over this gun. Now, this is also, like, 30 years older than this gun. This is 70s, this is 40s, but, um, batteries in here... Battery is in there on this gun. On this gun, it's in the dust cover, which dust cover batteries, people don't typically like them, typically because they can be really hard to get on and off. I know this dust cover takes me like 10 minutes to get on back on when I take it off. This cover, this dust cover, really, really nice and simple, really quick and efficient. So overall, two good guns, but this one is just overall so much greater. So here we are outside with the Cybergun uh, AKS-74U, licensed by Kalashnikov. And we're going to be shooting at this target behind me. But um, first of all, we just want to kind of very quickly run over, you know, all the things. Semi, full auto, charging handle, uh, rear sights which are adjustable, 
front sights with our adjustable with the tool, the folding stock, which folds like that, a dovetail mount for side mounted optics, a trigger, magazine, release, pretty much everything is quickly sling mount there, sling mount up here. Um, yeah, so basically the battery installment on this thing is super easy. It's a dust cover battery, but as you can see, it's got a little hinge there, which keeps it up. It's staying up, and it's keeps it staying up, and it's really easy to snap on and snap off. Really quick battery um, changes. So right now we're gonna plug this in. If I can do this with one hand, here we go. Battery goes in there like that. Battery space is like all the way up to the front of this part of the charging handle, so there's a lot of space in there for uh, stick batteries. Just like that, you ready? Keep in mind this is an 8.4 volts, but I would recommend getting a 9.6. I did order a 9.6, it is not here yet. Um, I'm gonna be using, for the sake of uh, consistency, this is the high cap it came with. Like I said, I ordered the four ENL mid caps, which fit better and work better and look better. But um, you might want to use for the review. I'm just going to use this, but you are going to want to get different uh, magazines, uh, especially mid caps. Oops. And that's why. That is why you want to get different magazines. There we go. See, it's so much, so wobbly. Magazine like that. And yeah, we're ready to uh, rock and roll, basically. So gonna change the camera up a little bit and then we're gonna get to shooting oh real quick pop-up adjustment is in there might need to take that down a bit because I have it adjusted for 0.25 but yeah pretty much we're ready to shoot like I said uh, get 9.6 get 0.28s if you want the best bang for your bucket okay so now we're about 40 feet away from the target um maybe close to 50 again get nicer magazines so you don't have that wobble get a nicer battery get nicer BBs but this is just the generic what you get in the box for the sake of the review. Like I said, buy better mags, BBs, and batteries, but here we go. Uh, start with semi. <laughs> and, uh, and it's not feeding. <laughs> um, I don't know if the high cap needs more winding. There we go. I want to see the barrel, there you go. Uh, I'll try and line it up for you. So like I said, with the right BBs, right battery, and right magazines, you're going to be hitting targets at like 120, 130. So this is obviously, you know, 40 to 50, but um, I'm just trying to show you the gun shooting. If you guys want to see like the accuracy test when I get my batteries and BBs, uh, subscribe and I'll make a video about that um, and like down below and I will make a video on the accuracy of this This is just for shooting. You're not really seeing the accuracy, but yeah, now well, let's do some Let's fold the stock in And let's do some hip fire full auto All right, here we go hip fire full auto And uh, that's high cap feeding for you, but there you go. So this has been a re unboxing, review, and shooting demo of the Cybergun AKS-74U licensed by Kalashnikov. Great gun, highly recommend it. Just get better mags, batteries, and BBs. I mean, you can mount optics, you can fold the stock, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with this gun. It's truly a great gun for 180 bucks, guys. Like real wood, steel, adjustable hop up, at least 400 FPS with like 0.20 gram bbs i mean this is a nice freaking gun so yeah if you're looking for an ak specifically an ak-74u this is one of the best bang for your bucks you're going to be able to buy out there so yeah thanks so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe um like down below if you want to see an accuracy test when i get the right stuff i get my bbs and battery but yeah uh, that's all for me thanks so much for watching again um and uh have a great day and stay safe
eye cap is so bad. It's cheap plastic. It's wobbly. It doesn't freaking beep. There's BBs in there. I can hear them. Ah, uh, freaking eye caps. This actually might just be the worst high cap in history. I've had to turn my AK into a Bren to get it to feed. It's literally become a Bren because I can't get it to feed. And it's so wobbly and cheap. Oh, gosh. Please, if you get this gun, get some better magazines.